I'd like to uh, give a question for the elders. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I have to give you that one. I'm not going to call out somebody else, but uh, I'll let that one go for that. You call out to say her name. See, I didn't say nothing. <laughs> anyway, I was asked to tell you a story. It's an African story. You know, in African stories, they're both informative and call action. And the title of this story is called The Fable City of Power. P A L I. The story was given to Baba Barashango by an African priest. And I'm going to give it to you today. There was this travel, traveled all over the world. He was really trying to find a place to call home. Travel. But everywhere he stopped, he saw nothing but homelessness. Helplessness, poverty, degradation, crime. Then he kept traveling. And he traveled. So one day, he was traveling on the west coast of Africa. And he came across this city named Pali. And he walked from one end of Pali to the next, back and forth, because he was amazed at what he was saying, what he was witnessing. And he saw this elder, and he ran up on the elder, and he said, Elder, elder, help me, please. And the elder said, what's wrong? So he said, elder, I think I'm suffering from heat stroke. Are you looking? And the elder said, why? He said, because everywhere I went, I, elder, I've never seen anything like this. The streets are lined with gold, and they're clean. And I see all of these big mansions. And all the children are running around in their finest kente cloth. I've never seen anything like this. Now at this point, I want everybody just to imagine. Sometimes I ask people to close their eyes and just envision what he's experiencing. So the elder says, son, you're not suffering from anything. Let me tell you what we do here in power. First, the elders come and they have a conversation with them. They want to know what you're bringing to the table. And then the priests and the priestess, they sit back and they watch you. I see what your spirit is. And then we have a conversation about you. We want to welcome you into our community. And if, only if, we decide to welcome you into our community, we throw this huge celebration. And at this celebration, everybody brings you one brick and one dollar. So the child said, well, Elder, how many people are in the community? Elder said, about 100,000 people. So we take these 100,000 bricks and we build the mansion. And when you start your life off in poverty, not in poverty, but with $100,000. So the moral of this story is we're always looking for complicated solutions for what seems like complicated issues. When we talk about village, VIP, village people, village building, nation building. We can build our families, our communities, our nations with one brick and one dollar. How many people are willing to give up a brick and a dollar? We can do that for the right thing. So let's stop looking past what we need to do. What we need to do is right here in front of us. Right. Very simple. Each one of us can give up a brick and a dollar a month. It's just how much we can amass. It's how many communities we can rebuild. Think about that. Marinate. Make it a reality. Manifest. Thank you very much. I said.